Welcome everyone to the 2021 Accounting Excellence Awards. My name is Connie Zavitz and I'm the faculty advisor and the co-op advisor for our Lang Accounting students. And I have the pleasure of being your MC for this afternoon's ceremonies. Our Accounting Awards evening is always one of my favorite nights of the year. I love seeing all of our this year's awards winners all dressed up in their Sunday best, seeing past alumni winners and reconnecting with some of our corporate par partners. Although once again, we're not able to meet face to face, eating prime dinner um, at the Arboretum and enjoying the fall colors, or um, maybe a little bit late for fall colors this year, the virtual ceremony still gives us a chance to pause, reflect, and celebrate our student students' accomplishments. One thing that I've learned in the last two years is you need to take time to reflect and soak up all the little blessings. So let me first congratulate all of this year's scholarships and excellence winners. And I can honestly say that it's truly been a pleasure teaching each of you and getting to know each and every one of you. To further welcome you to this event, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Greg Bauer, our new Associate Dean of Strategic Partnerships at the Gordon S. Lang School of Business and Economics. Prior to joining Lang, Dr. Bauer was a former Associate Dean of a full-time programs at Simon Business School in, um, at the University of Rochester. He earned his PhD at Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania and holds his CFA designation. Not a CPA designation though, so sorry. Sorry, Greg. Um, before working at Simon, he was a Senior Research Director at the Bank of Canada. Welcome to your first Accounting Excellence Award Ceremony, Greg. Well, thank you very much, Connie. Thank you for that very nice introduction. On behalf of Dean Porth and the entire faculty, staff, and students at Lang, I would like to welcome you all to the 2021 Virtual Accounting Awards. Although our current situation prevents us from connecting in person, we know it's incredibly important, now more than ever, to reflect and recognize the accomplishments of our top accounting students and thank our donors and partners for their valuable contributions in making their success achievable. To all the students on the call, take pride in everything you have achieved thus far in your academic studies. You should know that the future is bright. Accounting is more important than ever. It's always been important, but it's more important than ever. Just think of all the interest of the variety of stakeholders in public firms. It's vital to give them good information. Think about what is coming down the pipeline in accounting standards for climate, reporting on these new initiatives that are potentially coming down. That will have a global importance. Accounting is the key to many of these things. So congratulations to all of the students on the call. You've chosen a very good profession to be in and a very good time to start in this industry. Although I'm relatively new to the job, I'm quickly learning that Lang students, specifically Lang accounting students, are some of the most collaborative, personable, and sustainably minded business leaders on the job market today. We take pride in developing and inspiring future leaders who work together to use business as a force for good. It's not just a slogan, it's something we put into practice. A strong accounting program is critical to the success of any business school. I'm proud to say that the Lang School boasts one of the largest and strongest programs in all of Ontario. The school is accredited by both the CPA as well as the AACSB, the gold standard for globally focused business schools. We wear these accreditations with pride. These really do make us stand out. We're at a pivotal time here at Lang. We're currently in the midst of developing our new five-year strategic plan that will help guide the future direction of the school and will set us up for growth and success in a competitive marketplace. We will be reaching out to all the stakeholders on this call to solicit your input on the new plan. To our industry partners and donors, it's your support of our students that strengthen Lang's accounting program. 
Today, you learn about our students' career aspirations and what makes them a good fit for your organization. I have no doubt that you'll be just as impressed with them as we are. By supporting Accounting Out Lang, you're making an investment in the future of the profession, a direct investment into the future leaders of the Canadian and global economies. As I said, this is coming at a very pivotal time. Enjoy the, fo enjoy the show, everybody, and thank you again for supporting the Lang School and participating in today's event. Back to you now, Connie. Oh, thank you, Greg. Your plans for the future sound so exciting. I now have the pleasure of introducing our guest speaker for tonight, for today, Tom Mannell. I've personally known Tom for over 25 years. Yeah, I know I don't look that old, but I met Tom when we were both working at KPMG where Tom has recently retired as an auto partner. Tom's industry knowledge and experience is not why we've asked him here to speak. We've asked him because without a doubt, Tom is one of our Lang Accounting Program's biggest fan. He has been with us from the very beginning. He sat on the advisory board that shaped the program, its learning outcomes, the course content, and all the enabling competencies that we deliver now today. The answer is always yes, whenever we, a student group or a faculty member asks Tom to participate in any Lang event. I think he has judged Crack the Case more than any other individual ever. I think Dodgeball is the only event he no longer attends. As indicated earlier, Tom has been involved in our accounting advisory board and has only recently stepped off the Dean's advisory board so he could sit on the university's board of governance. Since Tom is becoming more involved in the university wide matters, we thought it would be nice for him to provide today's award winners with a little bit of words of wisdom. Tom. Thanks very much, Connie, and thanks for those kind words. And I guess when you've been around a long time, you get to do a lot of things. So I think that contributes a lot to my involvement. But I must say that, that in my career, one of the most cherished or perhaps the most cherished relationship I've had is with the accounting program at the Lang School. And as Connie mentioned, I really have had the privilege of observing the development of the program from its infancy. And a, a good friend of mine and uh, someone I worked with previously Fred Priest, who, who many of you know, uh, called me and asked me to be a part of a, an advisory committee when the actual accounting major was being established. And it was really the initial uh, goal of the program was to create an accountant with a difference. And in my estimation, the program has been extremely successful in doing that. And I've witnessed a lot of things that have happened um, through the the period of the program, including uh, the opening of McDonald Hall, sort of a world-class place to, um, to teach and to learn. The extraordinarily, extraordinarily generous and visionary contribution from the Lang family and the renaming of the school, the establishment of the co-op program, the accreditation of the school by the CPA program. All of these things have been milestones that have been achieved to date and I'm sure that there are many more that will be achieved in the, in the future. And I know that the school has many strong external partnerships, but the one I'm most familiar with is the partnership with KPMG, which is where I was a partner for 25 years. And I can see that these partnerships are mutually beneficial and highly valued by both parties. And I'm particularly proud uh, personally of supporting the school and obtaining several grants, grants from the KPMG Foundation uh, most recently working with Connie and Stephanie Sharp in a successful application this spring for another three-year grant. And what I found out in putting that together or working with Connie and Stephanie was that there is a very compelling case for people to support this program. Um, the funders, the, the donors, and the employers all have a lot uh, to gain from the relationship with Lang. And I think you as students will benefit from that as well. And congratulations to the award winners here today. You are exceptional students in an exceptional program. And I'm confident that the education and experience that you receive at Lang will launch you to success along many different career paths. And I particularly like the program's focus on areas such as community engagement, sustainability, and equi equity, diverse, diversity, and inclusion, which I know are especially valuable uh, in the current workplace and to in current employers. And I've also had the benefit, as, as Connie has stated, of working closely with Guelph students, whether it's judging crack the case or just working with 
the students that we've hired at KPMG. And I know that these students and you being uh, some of them are very effective members of our team and arrived uh, ready to contribute from the moment that you joined the firm. So you should take great um, confidence that you'll be uh, ready to contribute as soon as you enter the workforce. And to, to the faculty, many of whom I've got to know well, um, thank you for all you do. I know that you, your teaching and your research are what make this program great. And really uh, the accounting program is really dependent on you for its success. So overall, just best wishes and continued success to the accounting program, to you, the students, to its faculty and alumni, and I'll be watching. Thanks for allowing me to talk to you today. Thank you, Tom. I can honestly say that Lang's accounting program would not be where it is today without people like Tom Mantle and the other partners that we have on the call today. So on behalf of the faculty and the students, thank you so much. We're now going to move on to begin the scholarship presentations. I'd like to introduce Sonia Dollywell, Chair of our Department of Management's Award Committee to present the first scholarship. Sonia? Thank you so much, Connie. Just like you, this is also one of my favorite events where we get to honor our exceptional hardworking students. I now have the pleasure of presenting the Bill Broman Scholarship. This annual scholarship of 1500 is offered by RLB LLP in memory of Bill Broman, a founding partner of the firm who served on the University of Guelph Board of Governors from 1986 to 1992. The award is presented to a student in the accounting major of the BCom program who has completed between 10.5 to 15 credits with a minimum of 75% cumulative average. The award winner is chosen on the basis of academic achievement, involvement in extracurricular activities, and demonstrated interest in a career in accountancy. I am delighted to announce that this year's recipient of the Bill Broman Award is Jake Vogel. Mathers. Along with having a high GPA, Jake has been involved in many extracurricular activities, not only in the field of accounting, but also volunteering as a Taekwondo instructor for over four years, participating in multiple sporting events, and most recently offering academic assistance to students. Improving the financial health of the community is one of Jake's long-term goals, which he wishes to fulfill by volunteering his time and sharing professional knowledge with not-for-profit organizations and the less privileged community members. I would now like to welcome Jake to accept his scholarship. Thank you for your kind words, Professor Dollywell, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm honored to be the recipient of the Bill Broman Memorial Scholarship. First and foremost, I'd like to express my sincerest gratitude to RLB for selecting me as the recipient of the Bill Broman Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is particularly significant to me as I deeply respect RLB's corporate commitment to empowering people and creating a positive impact on communities, as well as the integrity and compassion that is embedded in their moral compass. These values also connect with me on a, connect to my familial roots in accounting, where at a young age, my grandfather instilled in me that the accounting profession has the ability and the responsibility to share knowledge and provide guidance to improve the financial health of individuals and their communities. As I move forward as a towards my career as a CPA, I will endeavor to model my practice on the fundamental values of integrity and due care and commitment to continued professional and community growth. This award will assist me in following the footsteps of accountants whose vision I admire, such as the late Bill Broman and my late grandfather, Robert Vogel. Thanks so much again for this honor. Congratulations, Jake. I would like to now like to introduce Catherine Embry, partner at CASA, LLP, who will be presenting the next scholarship. Uh, good afternoon. I am very happy to be here today. Thank you for including me. Our firm, uh, CASA LLP, is a regional CPA firm. We are about 50 people, two offices, one in Guelph, one in Cambridge. And we're very happy to support the University of Guelph, the Gordon S. Lang uh, School, in the community in which we live and work. This is the eighth year we've had an opportunity to present the uh, CASA scholarship. We have uh, already committed 25,000 and I'm sure we'll be renewing that. Uh, additionally, my husband and I both 
have uh, committed to the university in the McDonald Hall to support a learning room, the Kevin and Catherine Embry learning room there. Um, we support the university by hiring students, by hiring co-op students. We've had a great success with the students from the program. They've done very well working with us. We actually have seven students who wrote the CFI this year, fingers crossed that we'll have some great results. Um, and they, I know they've enjoyed working with all the professors. Um, Connie, Sonia, it, it's been great hearing the feedback from our students, how much they've enjoyed their time at the university. So I would like to present this year's scholarship. It's $25,000 or 25, wouldn't that be nice? 25,000, 2,500, we'll work on that 25,000. Um, the recipient for this year's scholarship is selected on the basis of exceptional leadership as demonstrated by a resume, which may include, but is not limited to, employment within the accounting industry, cooperative education placements within the accounting industry, involvement in school clubs, sports teams or events, and extracurricular volunteer activities. So this year's recipient, Madeline Harrison. Madeline has demonstrated leadership in a variety of ways during her co-op terms and in her extracurricular activities, as well as academically. Madeline has been involved with many sports associations and, and leadership where she, uh, as tennis and hockey coach, sorry. And she's also been an undergrad research assistant with the International Institute of Sports Leadership. So that sounds very cool, where she utilized her data analytics skills. She has worked as an accounting and assurance intern at BDO where she gained valuable experience along with making great professional contacts. I would now like to welcome Madeline to accept her scholarship. Thank you so much, Catherine. I just wanna take a quick moment to extend my sincere gratitude to CASA LLP as an entirety for continuing to support University of Guelph students. Um, you have no idea how much it means. It's truly such an honor to be this year's recipient. Uh, like any other 18 year old entering the vast university world, I'll be honest, I was not very sure where my degree was gonna take me, but it really all clicked for me in my first year accounting course. And since then I haven't looked back. I cannot believe the opportunities that this profession has already provided me with and I feel fortunate to have found my niche so early in my academic and professional career. As I continue through the latter half of my degree, I look forward to completing my accounting major alongside a human resource minor and hopefully working towards my CPA designation after graduation and eventually my HR designation as well. I'll see how many letters I can get beside my name before I'm 30. As nerdy as it may sound, I have grown such a passion for accounting and feel extremely fortunate to have that passion graciously recognized by the donors at CASA. So thank you again, Catherine. Wow, congratulations, Madeline. I would now like to introduce Betsy Etsley, a student recruiter for CPA Ontario, to present our next scholarship. Betsy? Thank you, Connie. I am delighted to be here. As mentioned, I am a recruiter for CPA Ontario, and one of my favorite parts of this work is meeting with outstanding students and learning about their passions and helping them see how the designation can help connect their passions and their skill set to make an impact in their lives and their future business communities. So I'm excited to be here today to present the CPA Ontario Scholarship. This annual scholarship is $1,000 and is offered um, by CPA Ontario. The scholarship supports full-time BCom students entering their fourth year in the accounting major with a minimum of a 75 cumulative average who have completed three electives in non-accounting areas such as scholarship, real estate and housing, entrepreneurship or corporate social responsibility. Preferences are given to students attending, um, intending to pursue their CPA designation within two years of graduation. And so with that, I am ecstatic to share with you um, that this year's recipient of the CPA scholarship is Nicole McIntosh. In addition to being a high academic achiever, Nicole has a wide range of experience working with different entities and gaining valuable skills and work experience. She is part of many extracurricular activities, such as being a brand ambassador for the Accounting Student Association, which I do a lot of work with and I'm ecstatic to, uh, to be here with them, um, as well as she monitors the budgets and is a lead volunteer in the tax clinic on campus. And along with being an exceptional accounting student, 
she is um, uh, minoring in HR and taking psychology courses to build up her emotional intelligence. By the way, CPA is offering an opportunity to work on those emotional intelligence. Check us out at Peace Out, um, which is an essential part of being a well-rounded professional CPA. And so now I would like to welcome Nicole up to accept her scholarship. Thank you so much, Betsy, for presenting this award today. I know how involved you are with Guelph and the Accounting Students Association, so it's really nice to see a familiar face. I'd like to start off by saying that I'm grateful to be receiving the CPA Ontario Scholarship Award and would like to thank CPA Ontario for providing this opportunity. In my essay, I talked about the positive impact completing non-accounting electives have on someone pursuing a CPA and came to the conclusion that a CPA is more than the technical accounting skills someone has. An exceptional CPA delivers value through the ability to lead and commits themselves to lifelong learning in order to better serve others. Taking non-accounting electives has brought in my knowledge on different topics, challenged my assumptions, and introduced me to new ideas and perspectives, shaping me into the person I am today. Following graduation, I plan to enroll in the Graduate Diploma in Accounting program at Guelph with the intentions to pursue my CPA designation afterward and will also be starting full time with KPMG in the fall. This scholarship is going to be a huge help financially, so I would like to thank CPA Ontario once again for this award and everyone here who has taken the time to listen to me today. Thank you. Congratulations, Nicole. Well, that's the end of our presentation for scholarships. We'll now move on to presenting the Accounting Academic Excellence Award recipients. Each year, the, we award students who have achieved at least an 80 average in each of these three core accounting courses, Intermediate Financial Reporting 1, Intermediate Financial Reporting 2, and Intermediate Management Accounting. Most CPAs in the audience will remember that these three courses are probably three of the most challenging accounting courses in your degree. This is a huge accomplishment. Since there are over 20 outstanding recipients for this award, we asked the students to submit a video telling us a little bit about themselves, their future. So here is a video of our, or some of our 2021 Academic Excellence Award recipients. Hi, my name is Grace. I've currently completed my previous work terms with MNP, and I hope to continue to work for them after I graduate as I pursue my CPA designation. Outside of the class, I'm an academic delegate for GDCC and a member of the Accounting Students Association. Hi everyone, I'm Kaylin. Last summer I had the opportunity to work at Economical Insurance as a project coordinator. Since then I've continued on part-time until I graduate in April. And then after I graduate, I'm hoping to continue on with project management. I really enjoy the creative and problem solving aspects of the job. I've also had the opportunity to compete on the DECA team here at the University of Guelph. Hello, I'm Jean. In my future, I want to get my CPA as soon as possible. And I prefer to work in a public financing or accounting firm. I'm not in co-op program, but I have worked in PwC company at audit department for one month in the last summer and my current goal is to apply the graduate university. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Caden and I'm in my fourth year in the accounting co-op program at the University of Guelph. I'm very proud and honored to be a recipient of this award and I thank all of the employers and sponsors that are joining us here today. I currently work in the audit department at KPMG and I'm very passionate about a future career in this field and obtaining my CPA. Outside of school and co-op, I've been a member of the Accounting Association of Guelph, as well as the JDC Lang competitive team. Thank you again for this recognition and for all for joining us today. Hi, my name is Jordan. In my future career, I see myself working for a small to mid-sized accounting firm and I'm currently considering obtaining my CPA. Outside of my academic studies, I am volunteering with a wellness and athletics program on campus called Griffins Empowered Through Movement, where we work with students to help them overcome adversity and mental health problems by incorporating new movement into their body. Hello, hope everyone's doing well. I'm Jared Henricks, and as far as career aspirations, I definitely have my sights set on becoming a CPA while working for a big four accounting firm throughout my career, and I'm really excited to start this journey next fall at Deloitte. Outside of school, currently, I'm a cast member at Cineplex, and I love spending time with my family and friends. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Blake. I'm currently in my third co-op work term in external audit at BDO. My future career aspirations are to pursue the CPA designation while working at a public accounting firm. Some things I like to do outside of my academic studies are to participate in intramural sports held at the University of Guelph in order to strengthen my interpersonal skills. Hi everyone, my name is Madison and I'm working towards earning my CPA designation. I currently see myself working in public accounting for the time being, although I'm curious as to what private has to offer as well. I have completed two work terms with BDO Canada and I am currently in my third term with them right now as a tax co-op. Outside of academics, I spend my time in dance classes. Hello, my name is Bill and I am a fourth year accounting student. After I graduate, it is my dream to obtain a CPA license and work for a public accounting firm. I am currently doing my co-placement at Canada Revenue Agency and it has been a wonderful experience so far. Outside of my academic studies, I am a member of the Filipino Student Association here in University of Guelph. Hi, my name is Lucas. Upon the completion of my undergrad with the University of Guelph, I look to work for a small firm in the midst of one day completing my CPA designation. Something I'm really interested in is one day becoming intangibly successful. I want to be able to look past the money I made and think about the lessons I learned and how much work I'd put in to get to where I was. Thank you. Hi, my name is Amin. I'm very honored to be awarded the Academic Excellence in Accounting. In my future career, I envision myself obtaining my CPA and working in a public accounting firm to enhance my current knowledge and experience. Outside my academic studies, I've competed at several case competitions with the Accounting Students Association and enjoy getting involved in such events. As of current, I'm a delegate on Deccan Lang and I'm planning on competing at a several other coming events. Thank you. My name is Bikram and I'm grateful to be an academic excellence in accounting. In the future, I'm pursuing obtaining my CPA designation and working with a public accounting firm. Recently, I've completed a summer work term with BDO and was fortunate for the opportunity in gaining valuable experience and industry knowledge. Outside of my studies, I've been a member of the Accounting Students Association team and currently am a delegate on Deca Yu Lang and intend on competing at their upcoming events. Thank you. Hey, I'm Curtis and I've worked three co-op terms with BDO Canada. I aim to work at a mid-sized public accounting firm after I earn my CPA designation. I'm also the team captain for the University of Guelph's Rainbow Six CG sport team. Thanks for coming out and have a great day. Wow, I love our students. Congratulations to all of our Academic Excellence Award winners. I feel I can speak for the entire accounting faculty when I say we are so proud of you. You are going to go on to accomplish great things. Fitting with our Lang motto, I see lots of business as a force for good in your future. Well, this concludes our formal program for the 2021 Academic Excellence in Accounting Award Ceremony. Once again, I'd like to congratulate all of our recipients and thank our industry partners who were able to join us today. As we leave, please feel free to give our students a last round of applause using the applause emoji on your Zoom taskbar. So, and I hope you have a great afternoon and a great weekend. Thank you.